What's going on with Messi, Jules? Five league games, no goals. No goal. Uh, tonight, he was as a force number nine, which obviously he, he played before, but a long time ago. I don't think he's used to play there so much anymore. You look with Argentina, you look even at Barcelona in the last two or three seasons, there was always someone with him up front. I mean, Pochettino played him as a right winger for most of the, the games in the league before and even in the Champions League, which I think is even worse because he's too far from the ball, too far from the box as well. And, and I, I don't want to see Messi at 34 years old stuck on the touchline waiting for the ball to come to him. So at least playing him a bit more central is better. Not in that role. I, I would have I thought he would start with Icardi, behind Icardi, and that would have been much better. But he still needs a bit of time to adapt. I think many, may, maybe too many people thought, oh, yeah, Messi coming to Liga and he's going to walk the league and score five goals every game, hat-trick all the time. It's going to be magnificent. I think he still needs time to adapt to his new team, to adapt to a new league, to adapt to Pochettino. I'm not even sure what that means, but to adapt to him and him to adapt to Messi, I guess. But it's, it's still far from what we expect. But maybe it's understandable considering this is all new to him and he, he had not moved from the same club for 20 years. Uh, that, I, I can hear the comments segment now, Joel, saying Ronaldo didn't need time to adapt when he went to Manchester United. Different position, different position, different players. What do you do with him, Stevie? I think you have to, you have to play a centre forward. You know, unless you're going to tell him to stay up front, right? Which would be a waste of time because he's not going to do that. Then I think you have to play with with a centre forward, which so unfortunately it would be a which would be a cardi, unfortunately, if everybody's fit, what do you do with Neymar and Mbappe? Mm. So it's, it's almost kind of a, it's a puzzle that's got a piece missing or just doesn't fit. Because what do you do? You're not, leave, you're not playing a cardi before you play Mbappe or Neymar or Messi, right? Right. So what do you do? Okay. If it doesn't suit Messi, yep. then you can't play it because it's not, it's not good for him and it's not good for the team. But you can't play Neymar up front. And if you tell Mbappe to play up front, which he has done, he disappears as well. It, it, it's almost like a puzzle with a piece missing. Does that make sense, Jules? Yeah, I mean, Mbappe is the centre-forward in that team. There's still a lot of things for him to work on, especially holding up the ball and, and all of that. But, but he's, he's, the, he's the number nine in Pochettino's head and in Deschamps' head for France as well. So you play Messi behind him, and you can play Di Maria and Neymar on each side, but this is very, very attacking. And then we go back to the lack of balance, of course, the lack of defensive cohesion when you lose the ball, which, which they clearly don't have right now. And that's why I think if you play back three and you still have to sacrifice Di Maria, potentially, probably, but you can play Messi and Neymar behind Mbappe, and then you will have your two centre midfielders, your two wing backs, and then the three centre backs, which I think will bring more solidity. I mean, tonight, Tonight, was, it, was, it was just open door. Hey, Lille, come on, let's go. Hey, let's create some chances. Let's try to score some goals, as many as <laughs> you can. can. You, you, uh, tonight was OK, but we saw it not just tonight. We saw it against Lyon, we saw it against Angers, we saw it against Lens, we saw it against Leipzig. Leipzig were 2-1 up at the Paris des Princes 10 days ago because it was the same thing again. It was too easy for them to create chances and to get into PSG's box. And that cannot lie. Otherwise, you will win the league, of course, but you're not, you're not going to do think anything good in the Champions League like that. But we're talking about the front three, but how about we talk about the middle of the park? Right. Because was... the middle of the park keeps changing every time they step on the field as well. Yeah. And you look at all the better teams, you look at City, you look at Liverpool, they get the ball to their front three very quickly and get it in areas where they're getting in one-on-ones. You watch this game tonight. Oh, my goodness. You talk about slow. Whenever they actually did get the ball, there were so many men behind the ball, which makes it even harder at least get them the ball early, and if they're, not, if they're not going to be at their best, then at least they're going to be able to attempt to have a go at somebody. But when you take forever to get them the ball, and everybody gets behind the ball, then, then it becomes twice as hard. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.